Hello everyone and welcome back to another kids book club. Just in time for Halloween, we're going to be reading The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt, written by Riel Nason and illustrated by Byron Agenschwiller. Once there was a little ghost who was a quilt. He didn't know why he was a quilt. His mom and dad and all his friends were sheets. They were light as air. They flew high and fast and twirled and whirled in the sky. They could even ride on a gust of wind and then whoosh, back to the ground like they were going down an invisible slide. The little ghost who was a quilt was heavy because of his layers of fabric. It was hard for him to lift off and he was a slow flyer. He got hot and sweaty when he tried to go faster. The only time he attempted to twirl and whirl it didn't end well. One day, he and his friends were at the park when they heard someone coming. His friends zoomed away because ghosts are terrified of people. But the little ghost couldn't escape quickly enough. He flopped over a bench. A family came along and a little boy who was eating an ice cream cone sat down beside him. The little ghost had never been so close to a human before and he felt fear in every fiber of his fabric. The boy only stayed a few minutes, but he dropped a big blob of melted ice cream right on the little ghost's face. Later, when some of the other ghosts saw him, they laughed at the stain on his forehead. The little ghost was embarrassed and also very sticky. ghost didn't like being different. His mom told him he had an ancestor who was a checkered tablecloth and his great grandmother was an elegant lace curtain. Everyone said she was the most beautiful ghost they'd ever seen. Even knowing that, the little ghost didn't feel any better. He wished he was just one fabric and not a whole bunch of squares sewn together. The other ghost called him Scrappy and he didn't like that. but there was one day that always cheered him up, Halloween. People seemed excited about ghosts on Halloween and sometimes children dressed as them to trick or treat. Every year, the ghosts went to watch the festivities. They stayed silent and still in the trees and pretended to be decorations far away from any humans. Too heavy to hover, the little ghost who was a quilt usually draped himself over a clothesline. He never had a very good view. This year, he had a better plan. He remembered how close he had been to the little boy at the park, so he decided he would be brave and fold himself over a chair on a porch, right in the center of the action. Halloween night came, and the little ghost flew as fast as he could, but he was only halfway across the lawn when he heard people coming. At the last possible second, he flopped over the porch rail. A mom walked up to the driveway with a little girl dressed as a ballerina. While the girl trick-or-treated, the mother asked the man at the door something. The next thing the little ghost knew, the mom had picked him up. He was so scared he thought his seams might come unstitched. The mom wrapped the little ghost around the little girl and put them both in a wagon. The girl had been cold and now the little ghost was keeping her warm. He could hardly believe what was happening. They headed down the street past his friends in their tree. No, don't go, one whispered. What are you doing? The little ghost decided to fly as soon as the little girl got out of the wagon to trick or treat again but the mom didn't turn into the next yard or the one after that. By the time she finally walked up to a house, the little ghost was panicking. How would he get away? The mother parked the wagon and carried the little girl and the little ghost into the house. The little ghost didn't know what to do. He reminded himself to stay calm and be brave. The little ghost peeked around the room. There were Halloween decorations everywhere. 
he even saw a branch trimmed with lollipop ghosts. They looked just like his friends in the tree. The girl tucked the little ghost who was a quilt under her legs as she sorted her candy into piles. He felt surprisingly cozy. Maybe things would turn out okay after all. The little girl ate a chocolate bar and when she wiped her sticky fingers on the little ghost, he didn't even mind. After the little girl was asleep upstairs, her mom gently folded the little ghost who was a quilt. She smiled and admired his fabrics and traced her finger along a line of his stitching. It tickled. She set the little ghost on the couch and went upstairs too. When she was gone, he flew into the fireplace and out the chimney. His smile was three squares wide. The little ghost's friends cheered and rushed over to him. They were amazed by his courage and wanted to hear every detail of his adventure. They flew slowly along with him all the way home. little ghost was so happy that he felt like he was floating without even trying. Everything that had happened was because he was a little bit different. Everything had happened because he was a quilt. So as we always do after we read a very good book, we start crafting. Today we wanted to create our very own ghost costume that turns into a blanket. So we went to Hobby Lobby and we found this kind of quilted pattern fabric. I decided to go with this because it was the closest that we saw to that of a quilt. Then we picked up this cowhide blanket-like fabric as a lining, because remember what I said, we wanna make it a, like feel like a blanket also. So we went with that. Aloha is here setting up. If you guys don't know, Aloha is a little fashion designer. She went to fashion school, she's doing classes, and she loves to design and put together looks. So she knew this was the project for her. Here she is setting up her machine completely by herself, her brother sewing machine. She absolutely loves it and she's so incredibly talented. So Aloha said she would help me with this project. our first hiccup rather quickly when we laid out the cow hide fabric and placed the um, quilted pattern fabric over it we realized that the width did not add up which means even though we got the same amount of fabric for both one was wider so we decided to ditch the fabric that looked like quilt and just stick to the soft blanket like cowhide fabric. We went ahead and we folded it with both bright sides facing each other. And then we went ahead and we sewed both sides completely closed, almost like a little pillowcase with one side completely open. Once we were done there, Aloha went ahead and took the fabric and flipped it inside out. So it is like a huge life size pillowcase. And it worked out great. As you can see, Aloha has her little fingers wiggling on both ends and you can definitely see the ghost shape. Next, we decided we had to add little holes for the ghost size. So using Aloha's glasses, I was able to determine how far apart the little holes had to be. Using a pen, I went ahead and I made two little circles that were going to be my kind of guide as to where I had to cut. Once we cut, it was time to add little felt eyes so that the eyes would stick out. Because it's cowhide print, it looks really difficult um, to kind of form eyes, but with felt, I feel like we're going to be able to do it. So I went ahead and took the felt circles, cut little holes inside because that is where the holes on the actual costume are. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line it with very light and airy black tulle so that the little hole that is see-through kind of picks up a little bit of the black color. That way, it looks a little bit neater. I also wanted to line it so the toes and fingers don't get stuck inside when you use it as a blanket. As soon as we finished adhering the felt eyes and the little light tool lining for the eyes, we were done. The blanket is so incredibly soft, 
but it's even more magical when the girls throw it on. As you can see, it's a fully functioning ghost costume, but as soon as they're done, they can just lay it over themselves and it is the softest, coziest blanket ever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's kids book club slash craft. The girls had a fantastic time and they haven't dropped the blankets. They absolutely love it. And I love that we did it in time for Halloween so they can wear it to another pumpkin patch if we decide to go. They can wear it to multiple places. But the best part is it's homemade and it ties so well in with the book. I hope you guys loved it. We have to get ready because we have Halloween festivities to get ready for. So I will see you guys in our next video. But until next time, don't forget to stay magical.